Lucas. What's Welcome to Nash Vegas, Ooh. baby. Yeah, no, you yeah. did it wrong. It's Horns Up Denver. Oh, that's right. Horns Up horns Denver. Up. Or is it, is it like... There, <laughs> and with the teeth. Oh, you know what I love about you? You have traveled overseas to perform yeah. for our military. And Nash Vegas, I mean, it's all, Charlotte McCoy has put this this event together to really raise money for Fisher House, yeah. which of course helps military families. Isn't that cool? So I think, I mean, for you to do that and to make such an investment of your time and life to help with our military, Thank you. that's really awesome. Thank you. It's, it's an honor for me that they keep asking me to go because this is 10 consecutive years with Wrangler National Patriot that we're going over to say thank you to our servicemen and women. Yeah. So it's a really cool thing. I, I don't know where we're going. We never know until we get there yeah. for security purposes, but it's going to be amazing. Is it nerve wracking when you go over there? Yeah, it sometimes. There's yeah. some different places that we go. It's, it's pretty relaxed, but I think we're going back down range again this year, which is not so fun. <laughs> so you, my friend, are not only a country music star, but you're also a television star. I've done quite a bit of TV. You yes. have, and one also was about pets that you did in the past. You have a passion yeah. for helping pets and military pets, too. Yes, I do. So I'm an ambassador for a Guardian Angel for Soldiers Pet. And what they do is when a serviceman or woman is deployed and no, they don't have a family member or somebody to take care of that animal until they get back from deployment, Guardian Angel steps in and finds Aww. them a foster home. That's when you see all those videos of the dogs. and Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. So touching. Gosh, you I have get, such a gentle little, heart. You yeah. really, really do. <laughs> but you have a new TV show. TV show coming out April 15th, Hogue Wild TV. Hogue Wild, yeah. baby. Hogue what Wild. can we expect? It's just going to be a fun, very high energy show about conservation, bringing our youth back in the outdoors. Oh, um, I love that. Yeah, I hunting, love it. fishing. Um, and the, kind of the twist is the fact that I'm going to bring on people who don't like hunting and let them see how it really goes and not the persona that a lot of people think is bad. Right, you know? right, so right. Try and see it from both of a, both sides. Do you, you know? know who you need to Google? Google Forrest Fenn. Okay. F-E-N-N. -N. He um, had quite a life. He was in the military, yeah. but he also traveled the world to... Um, to find these like hidden artifacts. Oh. And he thought he was gonna die of cancer. So what he did was put over a million dollars in a treasure chest, but not money. They're like jade, pieces of jade from wow. Asia. All these wonderful things. And he hid it someplace. He wrote a book and it was all to get kids back out and families back out to do this treasure hunt so cool. to enjoy what life is all about. That's what it because is all so about. many kids are like on Xbox and everything now. So I'm glad you're hosting what that do you show mean? too. What do you mean? <laughs> I know. Is that what it is? True. I mean, we're all glued to it. You're also an ambassador for Bass Pro and Cabela's. Uh, Hello. I mean, how do you go wrong there? Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's do Disneyland. you like to fly fish? I, I just got into fly fishing about two years ago up on the Snake River. I fell in love with it yeah. up in Idaho area and. It's just so relaxing. It is. It's really fun. My 16-year-old is tying his own flies now. Ooh, Isn't that crazy? Him. That's just so awesome. That's so great. You have so much going on in your life. I'm surprised that you were able to check something off in your bucket list. Did you just do spring training with the uh, Dodgers? I did do how spring training with the Dodgers. How are you this talented <laughs> that you get to know how to play baseball with the Dodgers, well, too? Well, you know, I'm very fortunate, very blessed to uh, the people that I run into, the music world has uh, introduced me to. So for the last 10 years, I've been going down to Puerto Vallarta as well, raising money for for cystic fibrosis. Oh my gosh. We do this big event on the beach in this beautiful resort, and there's only like 80 rooms in this whole place, but all these people come down and they raise a ton of money, and a bunch of the Dodgers come down. Rick Honeycutt, pitching coach, um, Oral Hershiser, pitching legend, Matt Young, another pitching legend. So I got to know these guys over that 10 years. And we were literally at dinner last year, and I said, guys, man, I would love to just come and hang out at spring training. They're like, oh no, you're not just gonna hang out. We're gonna deck you out head to toe. Dodgers, you're gonna play, you're gonna bat, you're gonna do everything. It's exactly like they do. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh! And I did. It was so cool. So can Dream I find some true. of these pictures or videos on yeah. your social? Okay. Oh, we'll send you some of the. Some I'm going to have to check yeah. it out because with over a billion reached, oh yeah. my gosh, you have a mass reach. Um, you just signed, uh, I just cut a song with William Shatner. Yes, Captain Kirk. <laughs> yeah. How is that? Uh, it was pretty cool. And where did that even come from, the idea? Oh my gosh. So my buddy, Corey Barker, actually is a, a publisher in Nashville for the ICM Awards and all that stuff. And William Shatner was putting a project of it. Have you ever heard William's albums? Oh, yeah. So yeah. he talks but, the verses and then yeah. usually has somebody sing the choruses awesome. and they were like hey you know mr shatner wants to cut one of your songs called shoulda loved i was like really that's so, <laughs> so 
cool. Send it to me. I want to hear it. <laughs> it's like you're in all the right places. The good it's Lord's cool. looking out for you. Amen. You are like Amen. checking it all off. So it's that'll fun. be the day. New music, yes. April 19th. Yeah. We are so excited. Thank you so much. And Thank I'll you. watch that TV show too. Please. And we'll send you some of those spring training please, pictures. Please, please. Exclusive pictures just yes, for you guys. Just for Colorado and Company and 106.7 The Bull. Horns up, Ooh. Denver.